Hello everyone. It's me. Way out in the at the Verizon Tower. And look at who's in the background. That's Tomoko Ono. The one, the only Tomoko Ono sitting right there. Sitting right there. She drove she car to come tower. She wanted some electricity in her life. So, oh, I see. Okay. so we just we're starting a little early and Tomoko's here we're all set up and uh, God bless us all as long as the tower as long as the tower stays up and the and the creek don't rise I think that's what it is Let me see, where do I stand? I gotta get to my, I gotta do this a little better. Where, should, where am I gonna be?
mistress in bed luck seems to be your wedded wife. Misery's your mistress and she's causing you a mess of stress and strife. Time to change your attitude and bring a little joy into your life. Time to change your attitude and bring a little joy into your life. needs a bigger amp and we can't move any closer because we don't want to violate the laws of social distancing and get arrested right here in Long Valley and sent to the Long Valley Penitentiary. Tomoka Ono, I hope the hell you can hear her. I'm going to, I'm going to crawl. I'm going to read the uh, comments. Read the comments. Tell me what they said. Yes. say balance is not bad okay balance not bad my balance is terrible but that's a it's another so great to hear you greetings from costa rica hey william how are you man william gallison balance is not bad my balance as i said my balance tomoko ono farnham is watching me <laughs> you're watching by the way did you <laughs> I, 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 they can't hear you under your mask. Well done, J and T. Thank you, thank you, John. <laughs> Shy little thing. I, I music is coming. <laughs> Do you see what Bill Crow says? Bill Crow says, "How nice, music is coming back." <laughs> I don't know. Larry Woodward. Benjamin Hanko, Carolyn Linhart, the band's back together. Carolyn says the band's back together. Hi, Carolyn. We'll just sit here and read. We should just have like a bottle of champagne, some watermelon. Hey, hey, Mary, Mary Marino. Mary. Oh, it's a big crowd. Beautiful, beautiful crowd, lovely. I feel like I feel like uh, our president. Nice crowd, big crowd. Yeah, well, it's a big crowd. It's a big crowd. It's what we need. Hi, Tomo Kunche. Hi, Bill. John Weber. Stephen. Ever so many people. Let me get down to the bottom. And Paul Keller, Lynn Stanley, Paul Keller. Hey. Who's that? Okay, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Now that I know that this is working, I'm so thrilled that Tomoko made it out here today. She drove out to uh, all her stuff. I can do this. No, no, no help. What will it be? Uh, the uh, my San Francisco. <laughs> Got to do my San Francisco. Mm -hmm. 
Tomoko's smart. She knows. She you knows. lost a lot of weight. Your pants is falling. <laughs> <laughs> These, I, I, uh, I have lots of pants that stay up, but I have lost some weight. That's great. Been exercising too much. Wow. And uh, my jeans are falling down. Tomoko wants to hear our San Francisco, which is, of course, Tony Bennett said, this was my San Francisco, and it has to be done at all times. And now that I've got a real, honest pianist with me, the one and only Tomoko Ono, Take my seat aboard the plane, and what is this I see? Leonard Bernstein comes aboard and sits right next to me. First class New York to LA, some things just work out right. I'll be sitting next to Leonard Bernstein this whole flight. Maybe I should just act like I do not recognize him. Be real cool and do my best not to antagonize him. Now we're rolling down the runway. Next stop is LA. I'm nonchalant like I ride next to Lenny every day. Naturally, I turn to him against my own advice. Introduce myself and find that Lenny's very nice. Soon we start to chat and drink and talk about our lives. Talk about our children and our wives. What a lovely fellow, what a lucky day. Me and Lenny side by side, New York to LA. Soon we're sitting, drinking, talking, chatting like the very best of pals. Talking music, life, art, death, root canals. Now he's interrupting me, but really that's okay. Cause he's a lovely fellow and he's got a lot to say. I recite some songs I wrote, he recites them back. For poetry and music, he seems to have a knack. He tells me that his new show closed and now he's feeling beat. And he's not used to dealing with defeat. <clears throat> but what a lovely fellow. What a lucky day, me and Lenny side by side, New York to L.A. He does the London Times crossword, 10 minutes and he's through. Does the puzzle with his pen, I do not have a clue. What an intellectual, but a warm and friendly guy. We talk about the world below as we sail through the sky. Finally, I feel the airplane starting to descend. And I know this lovely day is coming to an end. Put our trays and seat backs up just like you're supposed to do. Land a bit, my friend, a fond adieu. What a lovely fellow, what a lucky day. Me and Lenny side by side, New York to LA. What a lovely fellow, though really I must say. I've not heard from Lenny since I left him in LA. Not a goddamn word from Lenny since I left him in LA. Okay, so of course, you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. After that song, everybody says, gee, that was a nice song. That was a nice song by Leonard Bernstein. 
do another song by Leonard Bernstein. And I try to convince them that actually I wrote that, but it doesn't go well. So I just, uh, they don't believe it. They figured only Lenny could write a song like that. Uh, so I take to doing another song by Lenny. And this song, you've heard me do before if you're a regular viewer, but you haven't heard it with Tomoko. <laughs> or is that Yoko? I don't know who that is. It may be Yoko Ono. No! No, it's Tomoko. <laughs> I'm smiling. Uh, anyway, you'll recognize this song. That was by Bernstein and, and Sondheim. Do another song by Sondheim. And I'm going to do. You don't know what happened. Okay. Be, be, behold the tale of sweet. Oops. Lost my coverage. Lost my mask. Behold the tale of Sweeney Todd. Oh, can't keep my mask on. 
Iron Man had the same problem. He holds a can of Sweeney Todd. His skin was pale, his eye was odd. He shaved the faces of gentlemen who never thereafter were heard of again. He tried to pass the truth and trod. Did Sweeney Todd? The demon barber screamed. We are going to work on it. We'll have to work on it. But that's, that's the next part of the trilogy. Singing through the mask reminds me of the great... Well, who was the Greek orator who would put pebbles in his mouth so he could speak more clearly? Do you remember who that was? Who was the Greek orator who was supposed to put pebbles in his mouth so he could speak more clearly? Well, trying to sing songs with a mask, you really got to do pronunciate the hell out of them. My mask is falling off. But my wife makes these masks, by the way. Wow. And I'm starting a business for her. She doesn't know it. But she, she cuts them out of any kind of cloth and makes these beautiful adjustable masks. So if somebody sends me a shirt or some piece of clothing they don't want, I'm going to give it to Donna and say, make four masks out of it. And we'll sell them for a rest. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> or give them away. But Donna makes great masks. Demosthenes, Panosthenes, who is the Greek orator? Al Cutson will know this. You know, you know Al Cutson. You know, um, he will know. Who is the Greek orator who was supposed to have put pebbles in his mouth so he could try to speak more clearly? Well, that's the same as speaking with a mask. I can't see it right here. Are you watching it at all? Mm -mm, because there's a de delay. Oh. That would uh, distract you. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Tomofu would like to watch it and play at the same time, but there's a delay. I don't know who's delayed me. Or the, the tower. Have we all seen the tower? Do, do we need a view of the tower tonight? Because Tomofu just pointed to it. The. It's big. It's big. It's tall. It's 150 feet. And if you look up the Long Valley... New Jersey Verizon Tower, you'll find out more information about it than you're willing to know. And I can't keep this mask on. What do you want to do? Uh, my song. Okay, which, which one is that? Change my occupation. This is, the, this is Tomoko's song. This is a song, the first song we played together. And when I heard her play it, I was hooked. I said, this woman is going to have to work for me as long as I can make her work for me. I uh, just keep bugging her. And so now uh, this is uh, 10 years later. And, uh, and here's the song that we first played. One of the first songs we played together. And when she got to the bridge, see, the bridge is not easy. The bridge goes down a tritone and then up a fourth and down a tritone and up a fourth and down a tritone and up a fourth. And all the way through the whole cycle, I believe. No, it doesn't do everything, but it gets just to every key. And it's a hard bridge to improvise on. Oh, let me stop for a second. I've heard people talk about, oh, well, there was a time delay because we were far apart. Well, Tomoko's way back there, I'm here, and there's absolutely no time delay. Out comes the melodica. I think I'm going to change my occupation. I think I'm going to find me something new. Change my occupation, find another situation. That's what I'm going to do. I'm getting sick and tired of hanging out in jazz joints. Smoky little dives on Bleecker Street. Oh, where the crowd is tough and noisy, full of rowdies from New Jersey. Drunken sellers, a hole from the feet. I'm going to take my bass and sell them. Take everybody, tell them. 
I've had it. I'm finished. I'm through. The scene. Yeah, I think I'm getting too neurotic. Sorry. Everything <laughs> social values are too few. I blew it. I blew it. I'm going to change my occupation. Think I've paid sufficient dues. You want the folk that love you? The latest push and shove you? about the words. I'm gonna find me something new. swinger back there. She's a swinger. Wow. Smoke, I think I'll read a, I think I'll re read a few of our uh, press clips here. What do you want to show the power? What? Uh, and at the award. What's that? Trophy time. Oh. Oh.
Does anybody, does anybody doubt that we're sitting by the tower? Does anybody need to see the tower? In which case, I, I will show it to you. I'll show you the tower, just so you believe me. There's the Verizon Tower. That's the only place in western New Jersey where you can get enough bars on your phone or your iPad to actually do a performance. This has to be connected right to the, right to it. Is that you back there, Tomoko? Yeah. Let's see what everybody said. Mary Jane Harper. Happy reunion. Yes, first time in... Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Carolyn. Happy little, happy little tower. <laughs> right. Mm, Alan Farnham. You look like you have a landscape painting. You guys look like you're in a landscape painting. That's very nice. Thank you, Alan. Very clever indeed. We are. It's Vaughn. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad it's Vaughn. I don't care who it is. Howard Glass. Pomp and circumstance, right. Dan Kossoff. Dan Kossoff. Oh, Dan. How are you? Jesus. Uh, I want you to be careful. Enjoy your convention. Uh, I'm sure you're going to be there. I had a little joke. A little bad joke. A terrible joke. Just heard from the Lenhart Estate. No dessert. <laughs> no dessert for me. <laughs> oh dear. Hi Nick. Replying to and jealousy. Da -da 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 -da. Is that what that is? Yes. Da -da 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 -da. Remember me to caught your reference to summertime, Tomoko. Caught your reference to summertime, Tomoko, says Mary. Yes, very great. <laughs> Quote Rama. You will owe ASCAP a fortune. By... Uh -oh. <laughs> John Weber says we're going to owe ASCAP a fortune by 8 p.m. for all the quotes. <laughs> Barbara Bressel. Hi, Barbara. There's... How did how do we manage this on a... what's tonight's Sunday? Barbara Bressel, Steve Kohler. It's about 90 degrees right now in Hope. Let's see. Stephen Goldberg. Mm -hmm. It's about 90 degrees right now in Hope. Yeah, it is. Tomoko, you should get paid extra for doubling. <laughs> That's, that's John Weber on your side the whole time. <laughs> Maurice. Oh, Maurice and Nadal. Hello, Maurice. David Licht is watching. Tomoko, you must be using a battery-powered amp, and she is. She's using her son Willie's battery-powered amp. I believe so. Tom Barney. Hi, hey, Tom. How are you? And we've, got, we've got a very astute and notorious and expert crowd tonight. Did Trof come along? Yeah, Trof is here. I, I forgot about him. It's I've been so excited to actually play my the first time with Tomoko in five months. Five months. We have not we've talked a lot, but we have not seen each other or played with each other. And I tell you when I'm playing and I'm feeling what it feels like to really play the bass with somebody, it's so different than the kind of playing, you know, just accompanying yourself and singing a song and all that kind of stuff. Sitting here playing with Tomoko, my, my fingers are going, oh, this is what bass playing was like. Oh, you know, boom, bam. And I can play the bass much more in tune because I'm thinking about it and not thinking about lyrics and stuff like that. Do we miss anybody? Susan Goldberg replying to Howard Haynes. Roy well, there's an awful lot of fantastic people watching tonight, and I haven't had... Demosthenes. Demosthenes Trump. Bill Crow said that the person who had rocks in their mouth was Demosthenes. And he said it's Demosthenes Trump. <laughs> Bill is the best. I'm going to, we're going to be doing, uh, we have not worked out uh, Sweeney Todd yet. We're, we're going to be working on it. I'll, I'll make sure that I'll send it to, we'll, we'll do it by uh, phone. Hello, Bozy. Demosthenes, Bo knows it. I can count on Bo and John Weber for just about anything I need to know. Did you, oh, you met Bo, didn't you? You met Bowie. My sister Bo in California, the blonde. She, too, she watches every night. Oh. And she said that the Greek person was Demosthenes. It's, a, it's unanimous. 
Demosthenes. Now, if I can get up. Are you okay? I'm trying. Yay. What'll it be? You want me to play with it? I can play with it. He's get, wearing something? He's wearing pants. Oh. He's wearing pants. Oh, can they come up? Oh my god. Because, because he just picked up the shirt. And just kind of, well, I, I don't want to say. But it was pointed out to me early in the show's history that the trophy, uh, well, frankly, didn't have any genitalia. And uh, so we put a skirt on him or something to cover that area. And frankly, Trofe has been very appreciative of it because uh, is, is Tomoko fully in the picture now? I can't see. What'll it be? Eddie Harrison. Eddie Harris. Do you have the time by any chance? Uh, it's uh, 7.25. Good, good, okay. Here's a song we played together a lot. As my mask comes off again, I, I just have such a. I have a very. I have a seven and, and three quarters size head, and it stretches all these masks. me wonder how did Eddie Harris come up with this tune? What, what makes 
some butter and more. What makes a butterfly? Yeah, that's it. What makes a butterfly emerge from its cocoon? Sorry, folks, I forgot it. And so you set your goal to free your soul and fly into the heavens. Take a chance on romance, sing and play the freedom jazz. Whoops. And so you said trouble. And so, and so you said trouble to free your soul. You stole it. And so you said trouble to free your soul. So, so and fly into I have to look back. I've forgotten it. It was great. It was it was fun. He liked it. Right. This is a perfect song as the dusk begins to settle here. As, it'll, as, as the days get shorter, 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 
And they are. July 21st was, what was it? What was the equinox, the vernal equinox? Was it June 21st? July, maybe it was. Anyway, the days are getting shorter. You can see it's getting darker. And we're standing beneath the Verizon Tower. The beams are everywhere. And I'm sure of one thing, three and four. Maybe uh, you sold it. <laughs> you sold it? Jamoka thinks she may have sold the music to uh, this next song. You know what I like about the ground view? Because I, I look I look tall and thin. I'm really not that tall and thin. But I, I'm short and fat, really. No, not really. But And you see her back there struggling with that because, but the fact is she's using my transparent music clips, which I never owned in my life before, and I feel like I bought up like a Buick or something. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yes, sir. One and two and three and four and. to get me the signs are very clear they're coming to get me the time is very near two weeks ago i saw them leaving venus and there's only 50 million miles between us the signs are very clear They'll soon be here, and they're coming to get me. They're coming to get me. There's no need for alarm. They're coming to get me. They will cause no harm. Listen, you can hear the cosmic clatter of neutrons spewing antimatter I can hear them in my room I first heard them in the womb and they're coming to get me they first came for me when I was small my parents did not understand at all I wish to go, but they would not let me, and that upset me. It upset me.
they first came for me when I was small. My parents did not understand at all. I wished to go, but they would not let me, and that upset me. That upset me. They're coming to get me and take me to their land. They're coming to get me. I hope you'll understand. They want to do experiments in breeding. Some genes and human chromosomes they're needing. So don't be shocked when I have disappeared. I volunteered, and they're coming to get me. It's 4 a.m. I'm outside on the lawn, waiting for the ships to come at dawn. Don't be shocked when I have disappeared. I volunteered. And they're coming to get me. They're coming to get me. They're coming to get me. Theatrix. Theatrix. <laughs>
got myself a problem, and my problem is you, yes, and my problem is you, yes, and my problem is you, yes, and my problem is you. Tomoko Ono. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're going to be doing this again, I guarantee you. Maybe I was just thinking, Tomoko, from your front porch. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? The no? Verizon Tower. Mm. You like Verizon Tower? We have to. Well, she's sold on the Verizon Tower then. We talked about Fort Lee. Huh? Fort Lee. Fort Lee. Yes, we talked about a bunch of different places. Now I'm going to try to pick this up. One last view of the tower for all you doubters. Oops. Oops. Oh, it's not, I know you see. How's that? There's Tomoko. Tomoko says goodbye. <laughs> Okay, everybody, the Mastinis, there's so many people, I didn't get, oh, man. Nilsson, how are you? Nilsson, how are you? I'm very well, Nilsson. Didn't have to come, to come up earlier, sounds great. Trophy makes the visit to Tomoko, Kristen Zito, Howard Gloucester, Albert Kutzen. Al Kutzen says, a touch of greatness for you, being so close to the trophy. <laughs> yes. Well, tying a knot in each ear elastic help you to... I did. I don't... Listen, look, Bo. These have... These have... Uh, I don't know how to do it. Little... Pulleys on them. I don't know how to show it to you properly. But those pulleys do it. But somehow or other... What, no, it's what it is. It's when you're singing and moving around. Carol Esty. Hey, Carol Esty. Yes, Mary Gatchel. Helmer Hems. The only thing missing, Vaughn's dance. Vaughn's dance. Vaughn's dance. What are we missing from the show tonight? Yes. Jay Messina. Hello, Jay. Was that on Double Cross? You know, I don't know. I don't know where that was on. I don't know. I don't write. I don't remember, but it's on some album. Please remember to hydrate. Okay, yes, we will. Bags groove. Oh, sorry. We should have done it. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -de. Hello, John, Stephen, Johnny Garland, Helmer Hems. Hello, Helmer. It's way too much fun. With this pandemic, we're going to appreciate great live music more than ever. Thank you, John. Mary Marina, Marcus Johnson. I that could be a world record for a bass and been out length. Well, the bass is very short. It could be. The bass is very short. It's a 5 8 bass. So I have to put it up there to, to reach me. And you know what happened next? Albert Kissing, replying to Howard. Howard oh, Newsy replying to Howard. We are going to appreciate it more than ever. <laughs> Wait a minute. Tomoko has her, has her swag. This is Tomoko's swag, ladies and gentlemen. Lysol and, and troph. Oh, uh, trophy's never going to come. Want to come back to me anymore? I can see this. All right, Murray, we love this song. Rebecca Madrigal, Vinnie Marshall, Scott Perrin. Hey, Scott Perrin, how are you? And Phillips, Neil Kane, Howard Gloucester, Mary Marino. How am I? However, even after the marbles, Demosthenes' nickname was <laughs> Bill Mumbles. Nobody understood a word he said until he took those damn marbles out of his mouth. Thank you very much, everyone. And Phyllis, yeah, Jay, Alan Farnham, fantastic. Thank you, Alan. I hope it sounded good. It felt great here. Dude, did I really? Oh. Anyway, thank you, folks. From the land of the tower, from the land of Tomoko, we're going to pack up and go. Thank you all for tuning in. It was We had a wonderful time tonight. Speak to you soon. Trump drinks Lysol, right. Right. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.